Hey there, Steve Gamash with another Chef Knives to Go quick look product review. And what we are looking at this time is the Katyama VG10 Petty 135mm knife. And the way these are made, it's uh, multiple layers of steel. The hard uh, center uh, cutting edge steel right down the middle is VG10 full stainless steel. He treats about 61 Rockwell on that core steel. And then what they've done is put a very unique Blacksmiths put a very unique uh, stainless cladding, multiple layer stainless Damascus cladding on there. And these are quite unique. There's definitely some texture to these layers. It's pretty polished, so it's going to be a little shiny here in the lighting. But very unique uh, cladding and very interesting looking. So these have a lot of uh, really interesting aesthetic components to them. The weight and dimensions on these can vary just a little bit from knife to knife. This particular one is 74 grams or 2.6 ounces. Edge length is about 138 from the tip to the back of the heel. And uh, the overall length with the handle is about 10.5 inches. Spine thickness, these are not super skinny. Uh, they've got a bit of stiffness to them, but the performance is excellent. Uh, 2.4 millimeters thick is what I got at the back uh, on the spine. And then about halfway down I measured, I got about 2 millimeters about halfway down, get our camera to focus here. And you can see these have a bit of a distal taper. This is a shorter knife, but uh, what that means is the spine, uh, the blade thins down as you get towards the edge. And these have uh, quite thin tips on them, very thin. And also a little hard to show with a knife that's not that tall, but the, they're thin behind the edge as well. Blade height is about 34 millimeters at the heel. And so there's two different kind of styles of petty knives. Uh, one is more, I guess, they would call the utility style, where it's not very tall and um, you don't really have much room for your fingers on a pinch grip or to work on a, a cutting board. It's just not a lot of clearance there. Uh, this would be more of what they call kind of a mini guto shape. So it's, it's, it's very guto-like, but just smaller. And this has a fairly wide neck, but there's still enough room there where you can, if you don't have really big fingers, you can get your fingers under there. Uh, to work on some, uh, do some board work with it. The um, handle is octagonal, what they call kiyaki, with a walnut, kind of a brown. It's really a, almost looks like, well, it is walnut. Yeah, it's got some figure. Could be brown pack of wood as well. But anyway, it's a nice looking handle, nice warm color to it, nice fit and finish. The way that they put these into the handle is they leave a little space there. Uh, where the tang goes into, and that's an intentional move, uh, kind of an old school type install, so that's not a mistake or some defect, it's just a purposeful style that they did. The um, fit finish is really nice on these. Uh, I think we went through all those, so let's do our beauty shot for the video cover. So again, fit and finish is very nice on these. This, this is the left side of the blade as you'd be using it. You can see the layers there. There is some hand engraved uh, kanji on here, which is really nice to see. You can see that there. You've got some really cool layers going. It's a little shiny, but very defined layers. Even on the grind, the layers kind of pop there. It's pretty cool. This is a very nice effect. You've got some polish to the spine, some polish to the choil here in the back of the blade into the the neck right here so very nice job on the fit and finish these have a pretty good edge out of the box i'll give them a six out of ten the grinds are clean they're straight uh they're well crafted uh let's see let's balance point this is going to be a little further back just because it's a small blade and it's actually further forward than i would think for a lot of blades this style so there's your balance point right in front of the handle you can definitely you know pinch this you can work your finger up here, you know, if you're going to do some real detail work, you can grab it up here. There's different things you can do with how you, you know, work with these knives. Let's look at it on the cutting board, because this does, excuse me, blowing some dust off my board here. This does have enough um, clearance, you know, where you can get, do a little board work on it. It does have a really good flat spot towards the back half here, and you'll see that right there, so it kind of flows into... A nice stop so that you could chop back here and it's got enough belly where if you want to do a little rocking you could certainly do that so this thing will do quite a few different tasks it should be a pretty versatile blade big enough to do some stuff but small enough not to get in the way especially if you've got a small space or you're just working on some smaller items for prep 
So overall, really nice package. The performance is great. They, they're really nice looking knives, well-crafted, attention to detail, uh, just quite a nice line of knives. So this is the Katayama VG10 Petty 1 35mm knife.